just because my canvas is in pain doesn't mean I can have an unfinished tattoo and let Jarrell beat me at what I'm good at. No, this is my shit. I'm the only one over here doing color. I guess I've got my work cut out for me. I'm gonna do something creative with the state instead of confining. Yeah. I love the cuts in the wood. That's really cool. Thanks. I think it's sick. I mean, I'm from Oregon, so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's bring up the next one. Oh, that's mine. I don't recognize the state, do you? Nobody knows what Oregon looks like. It could be Oregon. This is a really great design. The wood grain and the textures really speaks to the artist's ability. Cool. You're putting color in yours, right? No. So I'm going to have to do black and gray is what you're saying? No, you should absolutely. Yeah, you should do full color. There's no reason you shouldn't do color. But then three are doing black and gray, and only one is doing color? That wouldn't make sense. That would look weird. Do your thing, Bob. Blast that bitch with color. <laughs> it doesn't have to be the same style. We all contain in the element. It's not going to look cohesive with the group. There's one that stands out. I'm stubborn and Hiram's stubborn, so it's hard to get the idea that we both agree on. We can't turn in one color tattoo and three black and gray tattoos. That is not consistency. That's three and one. That's not four. I don't think it has to be extremely the I mean, same. Like, but that's the definition of consistency. We're all going to be color in the flames. All of our containers are going to be black and gray. And the light, the fire is going to be colored. I know you don't like it, but it's going to be bit more cohesive. Yes. And that's I the name of the challenge. I don't think that looks better with that color. But it will if all four of them have yes. it. Bob. It's definitely a cool take. It's something we haven't seen in the competition before. Thank you. American football pinup on my ribs. I've been lied to before. Yeah, you guys are always lying know. about the ribs. <laughs> Tell me something that's going to make me believe you. I don't want a hairy pinup on my leg. Fair enough. Wow. We're getting the ribs. It's a given. Listen, if you get ribs, just tell them no. You can't do a body on the ribs. It's stupid. For me, I say Bob, Raul, and Angel. Yeah. Should you get the hardest ones? I'm not worried about Jason. Me either. All right, All we right. got this, this guy. He definitely seems like he's adamant about the ribs. He is. Bob? Yep. There it is. I knew it. I was giving you the ribs. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. You know, I was trying to take it easy on you because it was a rib piece that we're trying to get done. And normally I take multiple sessions on those. I didn't come into this competition to show that, like, I can tattoo a thigh every day. F it. I'm going to show them that I can tattoo any part of the body. It'll be grand once it's done. It'll be worth every second of pain. Bob. This tattoo is really clean for the ribs. Your outline on this is very nice. I like the divot in the center of the arm, and I really love the helmet. Nice, light, dark black shaded on the bottom. Good job, Bob. Thanks. Keep them coming, Frank. Today, you have the power to call out another artist. Whoa. Regardless of region. No oh, shit. It's crazy. You will each create a line drawing. The artist you call out must tattoo your line drawing. Oh. And you must tattoo the line drawing created by the artist who calls you out. Oh. Damn. Angel, who's it going to be? He's three. And Bob. Bob. You can't draw for Bob. Of course you can. All right, I'm going to call out Bob. Now I have to go way out of my comfort zone to make Bob something he can kill. Plus, I don't get to anybody over. Bob, who are you going to call out? I'm going to call it Jarrell. Shots fired. Jarrell and I have unfinished business. He tried to call me out with Biomic, so I'm calling him out. Oh, I'm ready. Look at you, buddy. Yeah, I know. Look what happens when Angel does my drawings. I know, right? They turn out pretty cool. Ooh, it's phenomenal. The color saturation and the shadow, yes. Yeah. This week, you called out an artist, and that artist had to tattoo your line drawing. But you'd better hope you didn't dish out more than you can handle. What does that mean? Because each of you must tattoo your own line drawing. What? Holy shit. Man. Make your design glow. Outdo the person that did your design. Show us why you drew it and what it really is supposed to look like. Oh, spot's the worst right there. There's one spot every time you hit my leg twitches. There's a couple spots. <laughs> the canvas is moving around, jerking around, twitching. Just because my canvas is in pain doesn't mean I can have an unfinished tattoo and let Jarrell beat me at what I'm good at. No. This is my shit. What's up? I mean, look at all your lines, Bob. I look great. Anybody can pull a line on a thigh, Bob. Look at that secondary light source. What? It's all right. Coming over here, talking shit. I can be successful no matter what is thrown my way. 
That's just showing versatility right there. Bob, you had to tattoo Angel's line drawing. I love that salmon-y kind of tone pushing out into the green. I love your take on the mouse and how little hints of color actually makes that mouse whiter. For me, Bob's pops off the skin a little bit more. Thank you. <laughs> Let's take a look at Bob's design that he made for Jarrell. The amount of layering that you get from the pink overlay of the piece coming out of the top of the claw to then using a richer pink and then a lighter pink behind it and then coming with the deeper red behind that, it's monochromatic, but it shows depth and layering. You do a really nice job on this tattoo. I applaud you for designing this because anybody who gets your tattooed, it's instantly thrown a versatile challenge. I love Bob's drawing. It pushed the artist to be artistic. My vote is for Bob. Bob for the win. First one? Yes. Yeah. The judges have decided the best tattoos of the day go to Bob. OK, guys, discuss what style and subject you want to assign Bob. Let's go. One thing that has been consistent this entire time is line work issues with Bob. So I'm trying to think if he can achieve fine line anything. If they think Bob can't do lines, they're wrong. You're going to be OK. All right, Jarrell, what's it going to be? A fine line, black and gray, realistic lionfish. So fine line only? Yep, no shader. A lionfish is covered in stripes, has crazy pectoral fins that are all frilly like seaweed, and also has these spiny spikes on its back. He's Just get it over with. Oh. Oh, you made it. Damn, that's a sick tattoo. Today, Three of you will move on to the finale, and two of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. West, let's start with you. Bob. For a single needle tattoo with no other shader, you do a really clean take on this thing. Thank you. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Everything in that tattoo is cohesive and finished and applied properly. And for that reason, I'm going to go with Bob. And my vote is also Bob. Congrats. Best tattoo goes to Bob. Wow. And you were worried. Oh, I was. Yeah. Congratulations, Bob. You have earned the first spot in the finale. Holy <laughs> shit. Look at you, dude. <laughs> <laughs>